Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo, and today is August 6th, and Samsung just pushed out the brand new August 1st patch. Now, in front of me here is the Galaxy S20. This one's the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and they both have fairly small update sizes. They're right around 224 megabytes. This one is the Galaxy S20. It used to be running that ATG2, and now is being updated to ATG3. And this one over here is the CTG1. Now, you might see a couple different letters and numbers change depending on the region and the carrier but again this is the latest update for that security patch of august 1st and it just got pushed out today now before we hit on the update on these ones i do want to take a look at just a couple different applications just to see which apps have been updated now usually the camera is one of those that is always questioned so let's go inside of that app info and then the very bottom this version here is that 10332 i have that written down right over here now let's move over inside of that biometrics and security. Usually this is the main update for it. Now the majority of all of these updates usually goes around that biometrics and security. So with this patch here, our fingerprint is underneath the version of 5007. Face recognition is 10023. So let's go through this update and let's see if any of these has changed. I'm not gonna go through the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. If this is something that interests you guys, just to see which ones have been updated, uh, really all you would have to do is just make sure you tap on any of those applications, go to App Info, and then just look at that version. So if you wanna see if any other update went through for other applications, you're able to do that. You can see that you want to make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi. It does not allow you to do it through the normal mobile networks anymore. So just make sure you're connected to a, a stable Wi-Fi. Then you're able to get this thing downloaded and then you're able to install. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jumia's Promo and you appreciate this video, you love the latest up-to-date news and info about your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now that the software update is done and complete, how about we head over inside of the camera first. Let's go inside of the app info just to see if there's a new version. So the camera's running 10.0332 and looking over at the notes, this is the exact same version. So there has been no changes or updates with a newer camera. So now let's move over inside of biometrics and security. So usually this is where we see a new version. So inside of the security patch, uh, fingerprint is 5007 which is the exact same as before. Uh, face recognition is 10023. Again, uh, the exact same thing as before. So in terms of newer versions, I don't see any newer versions here. Uh, we are running that newest patch. So if we look right over here, that security update. So we do have that one installed, but it didn't make any changes. Uh, so if you guys went through some of these other applications, maybe the, the Galaxy Store, maybe Samsung Messages. I actually, I use Android Messages or Google Messages. Uh, so take a look at a few of those other ones, maybe even the uh, Chrome or Samsung Internet, see if there's any updates with those ones. I did take a look at the Samsung Galaxy App Store uh, and originally there was already three updates there. So this little small update doesn't add any more inside of the Samsung app. So really this one's a very lackluster uh, update, but it is one of those that you always need to put in there, uh, which is probably why at the beginning of the video, we mentioned that it was pretty small of an update right around 224 megabytes. Usually it's about 360, 370, but again, make sure you update these things, have the latest updates to your security patches. If you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.